right, computer animation gang gang. Here we go into another animation frame by frame tutorial of a transformation. A letter transformation is what we're going to get into today. So you have to choose a letter like my example was A, it transforming into an apple. So you could do B into a banana, C into a carrot or so on and so forth. Uh, whatever you can come up with, a letter turning into an object, um, just kind of slowly adding to it and making it more for transform into an object. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started here using flippinm.com to create some flipbook style animations this week doing our distance learning lessons. So getting started, I need to draw this letter. So I'm going to take my pencil tool, go with the size four, which is kind of like where I like to live, and then take red because the color of my object is red. So I'm going to keep the color the same. The letter and the object will be the same. So on this first frame, I just need to start by drawing a letter. Kind of use these lines to my advantage, kind of help me make sure my letters are somewhat straight. And so just kind of clicking, dragging, drawing the angles of my letter A here. Remember, you can always control Z if you want to undo that Oops, that one was going a little bit off too. So do your best. Again, this is going to be pretty short animation again, as most of our animations with flipping them have been. But um, and you're only going to see the letter for a very brief period. So don't worry too too much about making it perfect, right? Um, but that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and use my fill bucket to fill. I do always notice there's like a little extra white edge line here that happens sometimes when you fill a shape. And so I click on that white line, and you can see it kind of filled it in just a little bit further. But okay, so frame one is done. And remember, you do have your move position tool here if you want to move the position of your letter into a different spot. All right, so I'm going to add a frame. And now I'm just going to take my pencil tool, uh, same color, and all. And I'm just going to start to grow this shape into more of the shape of an apple. So I'm just going to start and like just kind of gradually curve this, add a little bit more um, section to the sides. And I'll do the same with the other side, just kind of like growing it out a little bit here on the edge. You don't want to go too, too fast. Like you want to kind of make it just gradual, right? And again, sometimes clicking, if you can see those little white lines that happen sometimes. So this is good. This is good for my second frame. I'm going to click on a new frame and then go ahead and keep adding to it. Okay, so again, just adding a little bit more of a curve. I can use my fill bucket to fill. Um, I'm going to curve a little bit more on this side. Okay, take my fill bucket to fill. And then um, new frame. Okay, so take a pencil tool. I'm going to add a little bit more to this kind of curve over here. Hit my fill bucket to fill it. Again, make sure you click on those little white lines that happen and you'll see them kind of pop fill in. Another new frame. I'm going to do another little curve coming off this side here. I'm gonna fill and then hit this little dot here. Maybe I'll try to curve up this side this side is getting pretty close to where I want it to be. Um, but yeah, so going through there, another new frame. So I'd say we're probably looking for at least 10 frames on this transformation animation. And trying to just get, so that side looks pretty good. Maybe now what I start to do is also kind of like fill or shape the bottom edges a little bit. Oh, mouse battery is low. I'll have to make sure I check that. But um, so adding to these a little bit on the edges, maybe making this sort of start to grow together as well. Um, again, new frame. So yeah, I'm trying to get to, like I would say, probably about 10 frames or so. Again, just kind of slowly trying to morph this shape into an apple shape. Um, again, another new one. Maybe add to it just a little bit more to get that curve good on the side. Maybe I can fill in the middle with this one too. Um, and maybe bring this part down a little bit more on the bottom. All right, so getting pretty close to my apple shape here. Maybe add another one. Do a little bit more of this curve along the bottom. Maybe a little bit more on the top too. And then I'm going to get into probably growing the stem. 
So again, you might go as far as 10 frames, you might go further than 10 frames. Um, I might add just a little bit more of this curve on the edge here, cool. And then, yeah, I was gonna change my color. So remember when you're trying to find browns in here, um, they're kind of like if you go to orange and then just go to the bottom edge here. So there's my brown color that I want for my stem. Probably gonna make my size just a little bit smaller. Uh, start the stem kind of down in the middle of the apple and kind of draw it up a little bit there and then new frame gonna go a little bit further I guess maybe I could have used a little bit bigger pencil size for this um, maybe just make it just a tiny bit bigger and that looks pretty good and then the only other thing I was gonna do is I was gonna have a, uh, a leaf grow out so as you can see always going the extra mile here um, going to go ahead and start kind of like a small leaf that comes out on my first frame add another one make that leaf a little bit bigger and then i can take my fill bucket and fill it and then maybe i will do another new frame all right so what am i at 15 all right so this is pretty good level i'd say so i'd say about 15 frames will probably be about how far you want to go but as always, you can always go a little bit further if you feel like you need to. Um, this is looking pretty good though. So like I was saying, 15 seems to be a good marker. And I can make a little dark line in there. Uh, let's give this a test play. All right, so this letter A transforms into an apple, A for apple. So uh, again, you could do any letter, any object. Um, it helps, I guess, I would say, if your object is rounder or bigger than the shape of the letter um, rather than smaller. Um, but what I want to do is go ahead and make sure I save. I can call this A for Apple or whatever your letter and object you do. You can save it as that. I'll make it public because why not? Hit upload. Confirm you're not a bot and then say continue. Let this upload to your profile and then we are all good. Another quick flipping him animation, frame by frame transformation in the books. So I hope you guys have luck with creating your own transformations and that you have fun and get creative with your own stuff.